This is another type of example where we're going to look at how we can parse a variable name in a programming language. So in programming languages, the variable names often consist of a letter and then it is followed by letters or digits. And then the name will end when the sequence of letters and digits will end, so when some other character is written. The state transition graph for this parser looks as follows. So we have a first starting state where we are waiting for the beginning letter. Often when you want to emphasize what is the starting state, you can use this arrow that just comes from nowhere and into and pointing to the starting state. So in the starting state, when we find a letter, we move on to the next state. And in this, in this state, we will, are waiting for a letter or a digit. And then as long as we are getting letters or digits, we are staying in these states. And then when we get another character, we are going to the end state, which means that now we have finished the parsing of, of our variable. 